Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the familia. So guys, I am back with another two full day foundation review of the brand new Clinique Even Better Foundation Serum. And I got a few requests to review it and here we are reviewing it for two whole days on oily skin with big pores and see if it withstands the oils and what we got going on with the foundation, you know? So if you're interested in seeing how it goes down using this Clinique foundation, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on because I'm always here. And follow me on my socials because I'm always there too. And let's get started. Good morning, guys. Let's start. So, ooh, I actually actually put eye makeup on because I haven't done that in like two weeks so here we are face is cleaned I put moisturizer sunscreen all that jazz probably about 30 minutes ago so let's just start with some L'Oreal primer this is a blurring primer I really like it it works pretty well and I like the texture so we're just gonna concentrate it all over the face and per the usual i'm gonna let the primer sink in and i'll be back so here is the box of the foundation i like to show you guys and here's the foundation i like this little little contraption here the packaging is really nice it took me a while to figure out my shade i purchased mine at ulta so i always have difficulties figuring out a foundation these days <laughs> got her open she looks like a little egg huh okay we have a pump here kind of like this not sure if this is gonna be my shade though let's shake her up might be a little deep or no oh okay let's use ooh, two pumps it's watery so okay actually no oops I'm forgetting something let's put powder underneath we're gonna use this collab powder really quick now that we have our primer sunken in we're gonna still remove some powder and just Put that powder in the center of the face look as i still have the foundation on okay what we just did is create a matte barrier with the powder you don't want to put a lot of powder because your foundation is going to start crumbling if you put too much and look as you see there's nothing left on the sponge and our sponge is damp make sure it's damp not full-on wet a wet wet sponge will separate all your products powders and liquids you know okay now let's start all right, so as I apply the foundation on, I'm going to give you all the info about the product. The brand new Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 25 retails for $42. I am in the shade 56 Cashew. This is Clinique's first clinical foundation with three serum technologies. This breakthrough oil-free formula includes hyaluronic acid, salicylic acid, and vitamin C, plus UP302 to leave bare skin looking even better. It's weightless medium to full coverage liquid foundation with 24-hour wear helps visibly improve skin instantly over time. It's clinically proven to leave bare skin looking even better than you found it. And the foundation comes in a one ounce bottle. And this foundation comes in 42 shades. The shade I feel like matches my neck well and my shoulders. My shoulders and chest area are darker than my hands and my actual face. So I always try to match it that way. It's very thin. The formula is thin. It literally feels like skincare. As I was applying it with my hand, really feeling it, it feels like skincare. It's not heavy, but it has a good amount of coverage you do have your skin's glow okay let's get closer it's a lot lighter weight than i expected it to be it's nice you can see your skin through it's a buildable coverage foundation so right so let me just put some concealer on it all right guys i am back concealer is on and everything let's get some of our powder let's get a little amount because i feel like this foundation is very natural. I'm getting skincare vibes from it. So we're going to get this powder puff, remove some of the powder, and then just set our foundation slightly. And we're tapping it in and working the powder in so that our foundation doesn't move. Since you guys know, we got some oily skin here. These powder puffs I get from Amazon, they're so, so good. The only thing, they do rip easily, but it's fine. I still use it. Sometimes I feel like a foundation looks a little too dark on my skin tone, but when everything's set and warmed up, it looks fine. Cause look on my hand, it looks deep, but my arms are darker than my, you see here, let me show you a visual. You see what I mean? I always like a darker foundation than a lighter personally, but okay. So I'm still getting like the, you know, very simple, very lightweight. Like I don't feel it. It's like dried down to the skin. 
sometimes when you set your foundation depending on the texture of it's like on the thicker side you can feel it's still a little bit wet but here it's like it adhered to the skin well so okay so what i'm gonna do is just put the rest of my face on speed it up and i'll be back So it is 8 o'clock in the morning. We're starting off early. Sorry for the lawnmowers. They're like redoing everything over here. Let's look at the skin. As you guys saw, I only did a bronzer and put blush and setting spray. I like to keep the skin very, very simple so we can see how the foundation works on its own. And my first initial thoughts is it's nice. I think it's okay. I'm not seeing anything like special that i haven't seen before honestly it's a 42 dollars foundation it is a serum though like it's like a serum foundation those foundations tend to be a lot thinner a lot movable a lot more skin like it does have a good amount of coverage so that's very impressive because the texture the way it physically feels i feel like you wouldn't really get a lot of coverage because it's like a your skin but better honestly i didn't have any expectations so i just didn't know what to expect yeah i wasn't planning to reviewing it but a couple of you guys asked me to and i was like you know what for sure you guys want to see it here we are i kind of looked briefly i haven't seen our skin tone review this foundation so i know it's very very helpful for you guys to see someone that looks like you reviewing foundations you know i do like that you don't see any pores you see the glitter on my eyes but so that's always a good thing it really adhered to the skin but i don't know you guys know we have oily skin here things look really great in the morning and then throughout the day they can look better or they can look worse so we'll just see how it goes throughout the day so what i'm gonna do is just jump in front of the window so you guys can see in sunlight how everything looks and i'll see you in the next check-in bye all right guys want to show you how the skin looks in daylight and honestly it looks good. I think it looks nice, right? It looks maybe better in daylight. I have a feeling it's going to warm up to the skin nicely. So we'll see. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So it is 8 o'clock in the evening. We've had the foundation on for 12 whole hours. And I want to show you guys here some footage I took at around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Just showing you how the skin looked in sunlight. And at this point, I felt like it looked pretty good. I did notice some of my oils coming through. But it was nothing bad or nothing too much. And here we are now, 12 hours later. And let's take a close look. Don't mind this. I don't know what that is. And I will say, as of right now, I feel like the skin does look nice. The foundation is a very, very lightweight foundation. I think that my skin looks a little bit on the oily side, but it's not a like matte or full coverage foundation. It's just like a skin hugging, loving foundation. Like I told you guys, it felt like a serum, kind of like skincare on your skin. I don't think it's meant to be worn the way I feel like most foundations are worn, putting a good layer on and then setting them with full on setting powder. I feel like that's not the way this foundation is meant to be, but I feel like a lot of us, especially here on this channel, wear our foundations that way. Especially if you have oily skin, we have to set it down. At that point, we're just gonna look a hot mess and that's really what we don't want to look like, you know? I don't know, I just think it's okay. I'm a little bit more oilier than I would like to ever be. I don't know, I'm still a little bit on the fence about this foundation, especially for the price. It's $42. I mean, it held on well. I did notice here at around 12 o'clock, it was already removing like some of the area right there was removing. I did remove my lipstick, so that might have been the case. But even getting really close, you see like all that oily stuff and the separation. I don't know. You can just see a lot of my pores, a lot of texture right now. Let's tap our face really quick and see how the foundation looks. So yeah, it just feels like skin. It's very lightweight. You know, it's okay. But we'll see how it goes tomorrow. So yeah, this is it for day numero uno. And I'll see you tomorrow.
Bye. Good morning, guys. So let's start. Let's move this hair. It's been a couple of days since I did day one because I filmed a multiple looks and that took me all day. So I am back. And then I took the day off on Sunday because it was Super Bowl Sunday. So we're back. It's Monday. <laughs> To review day number two, the Clinique Even Better Foundation. So I ended up getting shade number 56. It's warm neutral. So it looks like this. I think it looks better. Clinique has a lot of shades with a lot of different types of undertones. So it could be very confusing and overwhelming because they have a ton of shades. And then you're like, I could be in between four. So it's a good thing because they are shades available with good undertones, but it's like a trial and error type of deal. Today, we are not gonna use primer and we're just gonna go straight in with the foundation. I already put my skincare on. It's been on the face for like 30 minutes or so. And I usually use my favorite paddle brush, which is this one from Smashbox, but it's dirty. And these paddle brush, you can't really use them dirty because it builds up. Since it's a liquid, it's just gonna be thick and it's not gonna apply the foundation well. So I always recommend to start with a clean brush. All right, we already shook the foundation. Let's use this much. Yeah, this shade looks a little bit better. What we're gonna do is get our paddle brush. This is not as thin as I would like it to be, but it's okay, it's a MAC. And oh yeah, this shade is better. So we're just gonna paint the foundation on. This will give us a nice thin, thin layer. And also applying the foundation like this will just give you a nice thin natural layer and you can easily build it up two to three layers in because we're building up slowly and thinly. So this way, a little does go a long way. We're gonna get this flat kabuki brush. This is the Laura Lee L11 brush and we're gonna stipple this in, like tap it. Brushes will give you a much fuller foundation coverage, but since we're like working it this way, it won't look cakey because we're working it nice and slow. All right, so let's go in with another layer. It does oxidize a little bit, you see? What we wanna do is layer like around the areas where you know foundation could easily go away, which is around the mouth, because we eat around the nose. I keep it away around my pores because the more product you have there, the more it's gonna accentuate the pores throughout the day, especially when your skin is like warming up, which it's constantly doing, you know? So I'm just gonna go around the face. I would say to go a shade down if you are my skin tone because it's oxidizing. I didn't realize how much it oxidized yesterday. The shade was already a little deeper on me. So I just figured, oh, it's, you know, looking the same. But no, it's, I can really tell now that it's oxidizing. All right, guys, so let's get a close-up of the foundation. This is two layers in, and I will say it looks pretty natural. We have a very nice, glowy, radiant look. I feel like I'm liking it a little bit more today. I don't know, it's just application, but we'll see how it works out without primer. So let me just put some concealer and then I'll be Guys, I'm back. So we're gonna go in with this Huda Beauty setting powder to set our foundation down. So what I'm gonna do is get our powder puff. Powder puff, it's new, but you know, I just used it for my concealer. So we're gonna get some powder, remove it off, and then start working the powder in. This way we can work the powder in in thin layers and we'll just have a better result and our foundation won't melt off, you know? Guys, this is how the skin looks with only powder. I feel like it looks really, really good. Super smooth, super lightweight. I really like how it's looking today. I always prefer this application way anyway. I just feel like it gives you the longest, most natural looking foundation and a good amount of wear, you know? Not too bad. So let me just put the rest of my face on and then I'm running a little bit behind, but it's 8.22 in the morning. So this is how the face looks. All I did was put bronzer, blush, keep it very, very simple per the usual so you guys can see how the foundation looks. I feel like I'm liking the foundation a little bit more today. It just feels better, it looks better. I feel like it applied better using the paddle brush, but I'm still getting very similar results from day one. It still feels very lightweight, skincare-like, but it has a good amount of coverage and pigment. So per the usual, let me jump in front of the window so you guys can see how the skin looks in daylight. And see you in the next second, bye. So it's pretty gloomy today, but just wanna show you guys how the foundation looks. What do you guys think? Let me know, but it looks good. 
I always just like to show you guys in daylight just so you guys can see pores, texture, and all that jazz. Because studio lighting could be so, so different from daylight, you know? But yeah. Okay, ciao. Hey guys, I'm back. It is 8.30 in the evening. It's been 12 hours that I've had the foundation on, but I wanted to show you guys here at around 3.30 in front of sunlight how the skin was looking, especially because today we did not wear primer and we're pretty much just testing out the foundation on its own. And at this point, I felt like the skin looked really good. I think it looked a lot better than day one. And here we are, guys. This is how the skin looks. Of course, with zero touch-ups, this is just how the skin has warmed up to the foundation. And my thought right now is I think it's a good solid foundation. I really like the texture of it. I like that it's very lightweight, gives you a glowy feel. It has skincare benefits in it, but I don't think it's like great. I don't think it's worth the $42. It does what foundation should do. I don't think it does anything more. And also one thing that's a big deal, the whole shade range. I love that they do have 42 shade ranges, but I'm still not happy with the shade I have. And and I'm gonna have to probably go back a third time to try to figure out my shade and it shouldn't be that difficult for the most part I know what my foundation shade is but I've had to go back and forth trying to figure it out and I just personally don't like that it's very expensive to be okay if you like the very light makeup every day your skin but better this will work for you but it doesn't do well when you build it up because when we build it up today it looks nice giving me the average vibe instead of giving me something like the shiseido foundation just gives you a beautiful radiant finish that lasts all day throughout the day i feel like it just kind of melts away a little you know like all this area here is pretty much gone you can see my pores and everything so would i buy this foundation again no do i think it's horrible no but yeah i just i like the little egg shape but that's it and oh i wore my mask but it did transfer a lot onto my mask i wore it maybe about two hours ago here is how my mask looks so you see all that transfer it does transfer up of course, foundation is going to warm up to your skin. For oily skin, foundation will transfer. You just have oily skin. That's just what happens. It just depends how much transfer happens, you know? I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts on this foundation. Have you seen other reviews? Have you bought it? What do you think of it? Give me your thoughts because a lot of you guys wanted me to review it. So let me know what you think. This is it, guys. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.